What's up guys? I'm back again. Working hard for you guys. So hit that subscribe button. Remember, it's free and it's easy. So in this video, we are going to be taking a look at America's dumbest criminals or clowns. If you've been a subscriber and watched my videos, you know I use the word clown pretty often because there's a lot of clowns out there but uh yeah this is going to be a compilation so there's uh, there's going to be a lot you're going to see a lot of clowns and criminals in this video so get ready guys here we go okay, where's he at up there on the left yeah, he's down here on the street at uh, 2343 give me 94 step it up look at this guy <laughs> I mean, he's got to be on drugs, or or if he's not, he's he should be in a in an institution, right? Put your hands on his side. Don't move. I'm good. What'd you have? Some marijuana, sir. You <laughs> some marijuana. Come on. You need to put some marijuana right now. Yes, sir. Okay. You did some meth. Like two hits. I tell you right now. Oh, like two hits. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I've never done meth, so maybe it was two hits. I mean, if you've done meth before, let me know if if two hits uh, would cause you to act like that. I didn't have nothing to do with that. How long ago did you? No, uh, about thirty minutes ago, right before you came up. <laughs> she fired up a bubble and she re hit it a couple times, and that dude tried to come up in the house. Hell no! Relax, relax, relax. No, oh, yes sir, I will relax. Somebody call Brian. Come on, come on, just... yes, sir. Sit down. Look how sweaty he is and shit. You know. Well, I ain't going that car. Richard. Yeah, you are. I feel like I'm, I'm being threatened right now to y'all. Man, you're in my space. I like arm distances and stuff because I feel like it's threat. This is my belief. I have the right to feel this way. You are a threat. He also has the right to remain silent. <laughs> Relax. I will. Did two hits of meth earlier. Nah, I smoked some marijuana. I'm a marijuana smoker. Marijuana. He he already admitted to hitting the meth. What a clown. Meth. Okay. Yes, sir. Victim tell me that there was some spice involved too. Ah, oh, some spice involved on top of the meth. Okay, come out the car, old school. Show me on. Oh, show me on. What I do? We're about to find out. Oh, 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 oh. Boom. Okay, real quick. You know, uh, people that, you know, commit, try and commit suicide, like jump off a bridge and then they live. Well, when a lot of them that get interviewed say as soon as they jumped, they felt immediate regret. So once, once this guy took off running, he screwed. So he, you know, he probably, Regretted that decision as soon as he uh, took off. <laughs> Didn't make it very far, did he? <laughs> Guys, if you're going to run from the police, make sure you're fit. And you can run fast for a long time, okay? <laughs> okay! I've never been in that predicament for a time. Just stay out of here. All I'm doing is stop and talk to you. Please! What a crybaby. All, all these guys act all tough and then they get arrested. They start crying like little babies. Well, you shouldn't have fucking ran, dude. I didn't know that. I didn't know. What are you saying? I speak right in that bush right there. So you sleep over here in the bush? Yep. Okay. I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with sleeping okay. in the I bush, mean, right? I mean, you gotta sleep somewhere. Hey, checks out. You're gonna be good to go. Uh, female said her husband's got a knife and he's kicked in the door. He's trying to get into the house. Get down, lay down on the floor. Uh, I can't do that. Why? You lay on the ground, dude. Why am I here? Why are you here? Probably because I threatened my wife. Oh, yeah. Let's just admit everything. You dumb clown. Oh, he's laying on the ground anyway. <laughs> in the yeah, at least put some goddamn shoes on, police. We'll, we'll, we'll get your shoes. No, no, no. Just right on the No, no. Oh, 
Get in the car. Hey, no, look at me. Look at me. Look at me in the f eyes. Right, put him in. Get in the car. Hey. No. Hey. Wow, oh, I like that, don't I? Push him in. And 99% of these people are either under drinking alcohol or under the influence of drugs, okay? You don't see sober people doing this shit, right? So guys, stay away from the drugs, okay? Look, he's stressing. Look at his face. Look at him. He cannot, his brain cannot take alcohol. And he gets very crazy. Look at, this, look at that black eye she had, man. Jesus Christ. Who hits a girl like that? Or at all? You know? We got a call from a bell bondsman. There's a bell jumping. Yeah, he's got red hair. Yeah, he's got red hair. You guys think he's gonna get away? <laughs> Where's your hat? Uh, <laughs> you better stop, bro! Bump him. Stop! Bump him. Get your hands up! Alright, he said, I'm sorry I ruined your day, but that's just the one. He didn't even get to the end of the alley. <laughs> that's the way it goes. Come on, dude. Look at that. That is, that, is no, no, that is not mine. That is the worst. It's just There's no water mark or anything in that. <laughs> yeah, see, it's not good. That's not mine. He got caught with fake money, probably giving it to a clerk at the store. He's like a caged animal. He tried to jump this one, and then he tried to jump that one. <laughs> but he picked the fence that's like 12 foot tall and get over it. Dumb. Uh, people sit out in their cars and, and do drugs out here. It looks like we've got two in this silver facade right here. Let's get out and, and see what's going on with them. What are y'all doing in the back of the car right here? I know you. Uh, I know you. We're just talking. You hey, we're just talking uh, at this motel in the back of this car. What are you talking about? I know this girl right here. What are you doing in the back of the car with her? Uh, just chilling. I come to talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you don't know why there's a syringe sitting right in front of you on the seat. Listen. Oh, there's a syringe? Oh, I don't know nothing about that, right? Listen, I'm just looking for a little common sense here. Okay, let's go through it again. What's your name first? Donald. Donald what? His name's not Donald. <laughs> Donald what? Look how long it's taken him to think of something. Donald. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook you up with some handcuffs real quick so I can figure out just who you are. Uh, oh, there you are. That's your ID right there. Is it? He's got his ID in his wallet. Sure, your purse? Yes. Okay, we'll see what's in here. Am I gonna find anything illegal in here? Um, oh, we got here a kit full of syringes. <laughs> oh, we got some more pills here. He's, she's got a whole stack of pills in that thing. Look at that. And a uh, uh, Roxy and Dennis. Wow, you got a smorgasbord of drugs out Smorgasbord? Here tonight. That's a Roxy time. What about this right here? Is that cocaine? Uh, no, that's heroin. Heroin? And what about this one right here? That is meth. I've never seen that many drugs in one spot. You're under arrest. <laughs> what? She should have just fucking, uh, you know, gobbled him down her uh, turkey hole, you know? Now I know why you didn't want to tell me, man. You got a burglary warrant, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah, you got a uh -huh. warrant for burglary with a $60,000 bond. Most of them were <laughs> 10 Roxy's at 25 each, $250. Money owed for drugs. Uh, and they got, and she's got a freaking book. It's, it, it's telling them everything. What a clown. Mm -hmm. Looks like you've been keeping pretty good tabs on people that owe you money. Who, I mean, guys, come on, you guys, you know, don't do that, it, you know. And his name's in that book as well as owing you money. Once they get that, you're, you're, you're screwed. There's no defense against that. There's like a couple there hanging out. Hi, what are you guys doing? Get away from everybody. Cool, you guys have your IDs? Get away from everybody. She's got a scale in her purse. And some crystal meth. Oh. Some more crystal meth. Look at that bag. That ain't personal use. You know what I mean? If it is, what's that, a year's worth of personal? She's selling. Otherwise, why would she have a scale, right? 
guess I gave you the jackpot. Here. Hey, Michael, I found dope in the center console. You might want to check. If it's, if it's what I think it might be that's been in there a while. Uh -huh. Oh, it's been in there a while. Check it. It's not even, it's not even dope. It's not dope? No. Immediately turns a bright orange color, which means this is actually very good quality methamphetamine. Dude, they, he knows they're going to test it. Why would he say it's fake? They're not going to just let you go because you say it's fake. <laughs> you, what a clown. He seemed pretty nervous. His hands were shaking when he gave me his ID. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of homeless. Uh -huh. well, and I'll, I'm just waiting for my first paycheck so I, I can fix everything. So you don't live here? Huh? You don't oh, live here? I seen you, so I didn't want to pull right here because it was just going to stop everything. You're going to really turn in here before my lights were even off. Oh, since I live on there. Uh, I thought then why are you pulling in right here if you live down there? I thought you are homeless. Do you have anything? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he just said he's homeless. You only go in this car. Uh, I don't, I shouldn't have. Before I keep looking in, honesty is the best policy, all right? I might have, I might not have, I might have uh, a little bit of coke. Uh huh, you might have a little bit of coke? Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, come here real quick. He might have a little bit of coke. Dude, I love these videos, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. I understand. Me, I understand. Put your hands by your back. <laughs> We're just gonna make sure. Yeah, for sure. I ain't gonna lie to you, sir. He ain't gonna lie. He's already lied to him like ten times. He said he's homeless, but then he says he's staying down the street. He said he pulled in here because he saw me, but he was pulling in here before I even had my lights on. So. And real quick, if I get a comment saying you're pausing the video too much. I'm banning you immediately from ever commenting again. You know, go watch this without me talking if you don't like me talking, okay? That, that's it. He's obviously just trying to get in here and get away from us. That's a little more in a little bit. You got some methamphetamine in there, too? Okay, yeah. yeah. It's all personal use, though. That's all personal use. Personal use. <laughs> but I'm just saying, that's a, I mean, that's a variety right there, brother. <laughs> Is it? Why is he laughing? He's fucked. Is that gonna be it? And maybe a, a personal scale just to weigh my stuff. Oh, personal scale. Yeah. <laughs> like, How long you been doing coke? Uh, probably half a year, yeah. Well, what made you want to go to meth? Uh, the, the longer stay up. And so you do all those, stay awake, and when you're tired, you're just like, I smoke a little weed. Yeah. <laughs> That's three different... He's laughing again. It must be a nervous laugh things you're putting in your body yeah he <laughs> seems a little socially awkward yeah, this truck doesn't have a license plate light stop him talk to him see what's going on yeah, i'll put you in handcuffs yeah, right now okay that doesn't guys if if you, you're doing something illegal make sure all your lights are working i mean come on you know i mean you're under arrest but i'm just gonna do that so i can finish looking in the car and i don't have to try to watch you too so I'm gonna look around in here and see what we have. Maybe we can find some ID, some drugs. Here it goes. <laughs> oh, he fell. Billy, what are you doing? He fell running from the cops. The dope. Hey, Billy. No. Did you hurt your face? <laughs> I did see somebody running handcuffs, right? Not every day. No, not every day, that's for sure. Now you know why. It don't work. No. <laughs> you can't run very fast in a handcuffs, you goof. <laughs> I'm doing a traffic stop on this vehicle for a uh, traffic violation. Where are you heading? Here. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah. Why'd you circle around the block then? Do you have anything in the vehicle I didn't know about? Weapons? Huh? No. Okay. You sure? <laughs> a little hesitant on that. No. All right, stay in the vehicle. Don't get out of the vehicle, okay? Okay. Dude, these, these cops know these all these people are lying to them, you know? But they, they act like, oh, they, they believe them, you know? He's throwing something. Why are you throwing beer cans out? <laughs> I, what are you talking about? You did? There's one right there. There's something... <laughs> That's like the video I did the other day. The guy, he, he drops his all his drugs two feet from his car. Come on, man. And they're watching you, you know? It looks like... Jeez. Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Is that your gun that you just threw out? Oh, there's just there's a gun just laying right next to my car. How, it, it must have been there. <laughs> Put your hand behind your back. You think you're just going to throw stuff out there like that? I'm not going to notice. That's... Really? There's a gun right here. That's, that's not my... Look at oh, that. Just happens to be a convicted felon. Oh, 
and he's a convicted felon. And you know, if if that book, if that gun's uh, loaded, you can get ten years if you're a convicted felon for every bullet in that in that gun. I'm not even trying to ditch the firearm. Let's go get up. What else can I tell you? I mean, you can tell me the truth. There's not a pistol. Bullet. Have you ever exited a vehicle and seen a gun on the ground? Yeah, uh, I'm 33. And I've never uh, exited my car and there's just been a gun laying five foot from my car. Yeah, put in the comments if, if you've ever just got out of your car and uh, had a gun just five feet from where you get out. If you haven't, hit the like button. <laughs> uh, we're going to go check out the car. It was uh, going about two miles an hour in the lane of traffic. Looks like uh, someone uh, must be someone mad at that guy, right? What's up? Okay, he's out. He's okay. out. He is out. Oh, he's 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 out. One problem with two. The vehicle's going into the westbound lanes. Sheriff's office, show me your hands. Show us your hands. Show us your hands. Put your hands up. I went to the barn. I probably had like two beers. Yeah, two beers. Come on, dude. I've never seen I never mind. But if you understand the instructions, go ahead and begin whenever you're ready. Failed. <laughs> Feet together. I want you to lean, uh, lean forward at the waist, put your hands behind you like that. Close your eyes and say the alphabet for me one more time, please. A, B, C, D, E, F. I've never seen that one before. He was just getting him to put his hands behind the back so he can handcuff him easier. <laughs> Why? Why are he saying the alphabet? I understand it's your birthday. You just gotta make better decisions, you know, man. There's a couple deputies are. I, I, you know what? I have gotten in trouble on my birthday, but I've learned, you know. Hey there. Um, they're asking for another deputy. Stop! Take, take this out of your hand. Drop it down. Put it down now. Or you're gonna get tased. You guys think he's sober? I got him. I ain't going away. We, we just, they're all, you did a kind of drug tonight? Yeah, you methamphetamine. Smoke it? Shut it up. Seems like a lot of people are doing meth, man. Right. Oh, okay. cool. And I tell you, let's do it. I smoke something. Look how it makes you act. Jesus Christ. He said, no, he wasn't doing it. Uh, and I went in there for spite. Look at this grown man crying like a baby on national TV, man. Just because of meth. Because he wasn't going to smoke with me tonight just kept saying little Wayne ain't got nothing on him that's what he kept saying so we just ran a license plate and it came back lost or stolen so we're going to try and catch up to it and do a vehicle stop oh yeah and oh he's running and then 15 x-ray in pursuit he's got 15 x-ray on his tail he's he's not that's not good Does he even have headlights on? We're gonna be eastbound Richmond. Dead end, there might be a foot pursuit. Oh, let's turn into a dead end. Clown. <laughs> Dude, hearing them dogs bark and you're stuck at a dead end, uh, yeah, you better put your hands up. Or you're gonna get chewed the hell up. I mean, you were driving the wrong way, sir. Cars were coming at you. Oh, man. I don't know, man. Shit happens, though. Yeah, rock on, man. Okay. So you're gonna be going to jail for uh, the stolen vehicle, possession of the stolen property, um... 
the felony evading, driving recklessly, and parole violation. That's a, that's a long sentence, guys. <laughs> that's called, you're fucked. And you understand you put a lot of people's lives in danger, right? Oh, man. <laughs> Shit happens. You're driving a fucking SUV on the wrong side, and you could have killed any one of them people. And you're saying shit happens? Yeah, you need to go to jail. We're gonna try to stop this vehicle up here driving high rate of speed. Uh, westbound Beaumark. And if you haven't watched, uh, if you seen some of the techniques they use to stop these vehicles, watch my previous video. It, it, it shows you all kinds of shit that they have. Coming up on Tyler, silver Cadillac, no plates. Oh, 901. Oh, he's still going, he's still going. He's 2 901, 901, roll over. Hillsdale and Frizzell. Multi-vehicle. See, look, these stupid people are, are just hitting these innocent, you know, civilians because they're trying to get away. You know what I mean? You should, get, I think you should get, uh, you know, really severe penalty if if you run from the cops and, and, and you hit somebody like this. I just want to call my... Dude, look at that. At first, I thought that was somebody dead fucking uh, hanging out the car. But that's the only way this guy can get out. I got you. Stay right here. I just want to call my wife. He did all that because he wanted to call his wife? Oh, my God. I know. And I'm still being on it. Okay. You're not kidding. You're going to be fine, ma'am. Uh, uh, oh. Get him up. Uh, I, can't, I can't believe he lived. He shouldn't have lived. Hey James, who's that car belong to? I just bought the mother. So it's your car? Yeah. Why were you going so fast, dude? I didn't even mean to, man. I didn't even know. Oh, what do you mean he didn't mean to? Last time I did going fast. You didn't realize you were going fast? No. Well, how'd that accident happen? He didn't realize. I hate people like this, man. Man, I knew I was going. Can't even take responsibility for what he did. You know, if you're such a tough guy, then why are you, you know what I mean? Are you trying to get away from us? He's got all these dumbass face tattoos, yeah, act like he's tough, but then he can't even tell the cops what he did, you know what I mean? Trying to get away from the mother shooting at me, man, I didn't know. Who was shooting at you? Nobody was even shooting. Anybody, man, you know how fools is. He said to run from us because he thought we were going to kill him. He thought he was getting shot. Look at that car, man. How did he survive that? Man, you know how fools is. Yep, and there he, he's a felon with another gun, you know. Grab some gloves and throw it in a bag. So the missing wheel off of that yeah. car is over by this tree in the bushes right over here. I'm just glad there was in some innocent citizens. <laughs> Yeah, hey, imagine that there's a kid playing or something, and then this fucking tire from this clown nails him. You know what I mean? I mean, Jesus Christ. Coming out here to put the trash out or something. Right now, the suspect's in custody for vehicle theft, possession of stolen vehicle, and uh, felony evading with injuries, which is by far the most serious charge. Good. This vehicle matches the description of a suspect vehicle in a home invasion robbery that happened over on the west side of town. Uh, the victim claimed that two suspects uh, that were in this vehicle uh, entered his house, um, had him at gunpoint, and stole multiple items. One of the things stolen was the victim's rifle. What's going on, dude? Keep your hands so we can see you. Yes, sir. I understand. Man, I just got no bond on me for us. Yeah, I got my money, that's it. Where's your money at? My money is my money. I tell you where my money's at. That's gonna be the gun that was stolen from our victim in our robbery at uh, Hunter's Way. Yeah, good thing they got that thing back, Jesus. See, a gun in the hands of a good normal person is not dangerous. A gun is only dangerous if it's in the hands of a dumbass clown. You know what I mean? Yes, they robbed him at gunpoint. And they stole his money. You have to actually aim the gun at somebody and pull the trigger for it to be dangerous. Okay? So it's all about the mind of the person with the gun. 
and his rifle. There's a gun in your front seat, and there's a rifle in the back seat. It ain't mine. Okay. We're playing back. They know that it's not yours, you dumbass. That's what I Y'all are, are playing, you and Ray Ray. Me and, and Ray is a G and some black guys. I really don't, I don't trust okay. them. That's what so I'm at them. what point did the rifle get in your car? The car, when he put it in there, I guess. But put it in there from where? Did you I see him know. put it in I there? I did, we're playing basketball. Man, you know how fools is. The gun in your back seat is stolen from a home invasion. A home invasion. It wasn't like somebody just. See, and he's gonna act like he has no idea what he's talking about. And he, he got caught red-handed with the fucking gun. Dropped in your seat. It was stolen from a home invasion. Okay. A gun was used during a home invasion. I found a gun between your seat and your console. That's mine. I know. Which leads me to believe <laughs> what? I don't know. Yeah, I see a vehicle up here, just ahead of us. That was the another clown you know the back lights aren't on okay who's all in the vehicle with you what's your name marcus what and yours huh oh you must step outside the vehicle for a minute whose vehicle is this you have you don't know whose vehicle that is what do you mean you don't know whose car it is you're driving the car i was just driving <laughs> is the vehicle your vehicle is that her vehicle in the front does anybody know whose vehicle it is I'm not sure who it is. Okay, I mean, do you understand how that can be kind of suspicious to me? The back passenger is also pretty apprehensive. Ah, oh, there's a baggie of looks like coke just sitting there in plain view. Don't even try and hide it. When speaking with us, he's asking a lot of questions, very nervous. It looks like it's uh, crystal methamphetamine. Oh, it's not coke, it's crystal meth. I mean, baggie of ice? What'd the baggie of ice look like? Like a bad guy. Are you just saying yes? With the cooperation of uh, Freddie and Sarah, you're going to be charged with the uh, possession of methamphetamine. Uh, not all I mean, it wasn't mine. Damn, they ratted him out. Don't trust people, guys. And I got both. Once you get pulled over, it's every man for themselves, as you see with all these videos of people. Of them saying it was you. Can you prove it? Huh? Can you prove it's mine? I got two statements from them, man. They're. <laughs> Well, I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, I don't know why. It's free. Again, just click the button for me. Thank you. And until next time, True Crime King, out.